It has been nine days since voters went to the polls to elect a successor to former Congressman Tim Murphy. And now we have a winner. The losing candidate has conceded the election. Political editor John Delano has the details. It's all over in the old 18th Congressional District. Although both candidates, Democrat Connor Lamb and Republican Rick Saccone, are off and running again, just not against each other. After counting absentee ballots, military ballots, provisional ballots, and the like, Lamb led Saccone by three-tenths of one percent, enough for Saccone to call Lamb to concede the race, adding in a statement, quote, I am honored and humbled to have worked with so many talented and committed supporters. Their tireless dedication to this campaign inspired and motivated me each and every day. While Young and I are certainly disappointed with the outcome, I remain resolute in supporting the voices of southwestern Pennsylvania voters. I will continue this fight as a candidate in the 14th Congressional District. Lamb responded publicly in a tweet saying, Just got off the phone with my opponent, Rick Sac Great last I congratulate Mr. Saccone for a close, hard-fought race and wish him the best. On May 15th, Saccone is running for the Republican nomination in the new 14th Congressional against State Senator Guy Reschenthaler, which includes much of the old 18th, but without Allegheny County. Saccone says the new 14th, which is more Republican, is a comfortable fit. All these people know me. I'm around here all the time. You know, this is the district basically I grew up in and I've served in the legislature, so I'm happy to be out here. Lamb may have the tougher job representing the old 18th while running for re-election in the new 17th district against incumbent Republican Congressman Keith Rothfuss. I really haven't thought much about Congressman Rothfuss yet. Uh, it's only been a week since uh, I was uh, finishing up with Representative Saccone. Now, that's a fair point. The election against Rothfuss is not until next November. And first, Lamb must defeat two Democrats, attorney Beth Terezi of Sewickley and financial consultant Ray Linsenmeyer of McCandless in the May 15th primary. He will be running in a district that is 80% new for him. As for the district that just elected him, sources tell me Lamb will be sworn in as congressman in Washington on April 10th. Stacy.